Okay guys and welcome to this brand new section, student questions answered. Well I had this question in a few hours ago and it says, Hi Alan, I have created an array like you've shown us in the lecture and I also have a dynamic name range in my Excel sheet listing all the IDs that I wish to exclude from the array, e.g. my array equals and the ID to exclude. Is there a way to do this? Well there are three ways to do this. Um, the first one is horrendously complicated using preserve with arrays which I know never use and the other two ways are either to check when you populate the array if the value to be excluded is in the active cell in which case don't read it into the array but obviously we're going to be using Excel calculations there to do it and using a loop to loop through which is not as efficient as doing it in code so by far the simplest way of doing this and the most efficient way of doing this is to actually capture the entire array in one shot and then literally when you write the array then do the check-in to see if it's a value that you want to exclude or not. Okay so uh, here's the code I'm just going to run it through uh, there's a cheat here you can already see how fast this works so basically what we have is 20,000 lines of data and I have a start time stop time and elapsed time so let me just run the code and you will see that that takes 1.01 seconds to run and that is across however many lines of data I said that's 20,000 lines of data processed in one second doing it this way so let me just talk you through the code. Uh, here I've set up the variable, so I have my array as variant, declaring the array. Uh, the row count captures the row count in here. Now obviously this is going to capture the maximum number, so it's going to capture 20,000 lines of data. And because we have exclusions, that's going to be bigger than we want it to be. But we also know it's never going to be bigger than the number of entries in this column. So that's going to work perfectly fine. And as I say, it runs through in one second anyway and then we have a write loop for a loop that we're going to use to write the data. Now here I have turned the application screen updating off obviously I've tested the code before I did this and then to make it even faster I have turned off Excel's built-in automatic calculations. It is critical you turn this back on at the very end of the code. So at the beginning application screen updating equals false turn that off application.calculation excel calculation manual that stops excel doing any calculations Okay, next part, range D to E clear contents. That's going to wipe out what's in columns D and E, which is where we're writing our data. Then we're going to add the start time just to clock the speed at range G1. So range G1 dot value equals time. And then we're going to read all the data in one byte. What we're going to say is my array equals range A1 current region dot select and it's just going to gobble all of that up there now it's also going to capture this but we're only interested in these two elements column A and B and just as we looked at earlier in the course I'm going to read the upper bound of the array that is how many rows of data are there into the variable row count and then we get down to a simple loop to write the data so range D1 select this is where we're going to begin writing our data on error resume next that is going to allow this code to execute because what we're going to do is use the match function the worksheet function dot match and we're going to test my array right loop one so on the first pass through this is going to be testing my array one one that is on the first iteration the value in one one comma range my named range and that is your dynamic named range there and obviously we're going to hit comma and zero because we want an exact match so what we've said is if this is an error therefore the value here is not found in your exclusion list go ahead and populate the array so the active cell value equals my array right loop one on the first pass through comma one and active cell offset zero one column b dot value equals my array right loop two so it will be element one part two and then we're going to move down a cell so if we do not find a match if this function here the worksheet function match looking at your named range returns an error then we want to write what is in the array otherwise 
do nothing and then just go through so we're turning off the error trapping here and we turn it back on once this loop has completed now at the end we're just going to add a stop time to g2 and we're going to turn back on the calculations and we're going to turn back on the screen updating so let me just delete columns D and E or clear the contents more to the point and that's exactly what this is going to do so when I hit play boom there you go it runs through in one second so I don't know how big your data set is obviously if it's more than 32,000 odd lines you're going to need to change these integers to longs but if it's less than 35,000 you're fine with integers and obviously integers are more efficient because they only use two bytes of memory rather than four okay I hope that's helped clarify that for you you can find this file as a downloadable resource from this very lecture so you can have a play around with it hopefully that helps any more questions just let me know thanks very much